ikaw pakakasalan mo na siya. Why? Is she pregnant? Anton! No, of course not. I knew it. Wala pang nangyayari sa inyo. Anton, ano ba? Do I really have to answer that? Let's face it, Edward. Grace is a rape victim. Paano ka lalapit sa kanya without her cringing every time you touch her? Pa, willing naman ako maghintay. I don't think so, Edward. May pangangailangan tayo mga lalaki. Anton! Huwag na natin pag-usapan yan. That's too private. Yes, it is too private. And can we stop talking about Grace's past? Dahil matagal nang tapos yun. Yes, Anton. Let's not bring that up anymore, okay? And besides, Grace has suffered more than enough. Okay, fine. Let's talk about something else. Naisip mo na ba kung ano ang magiging buhay mo sa isang katulad niya? Para ka nagpakasal sa isang pasyente. Pag kailangan niya maglakad, aalalayan mo siya. Pag kailangan niya magbasa o magsulat or anything na kailangan ng mata, ikaw yun. You always have to be there for her, Edward, and it's not going to be easy. I don't understand where all this is coming from. Akala ko okay na sa inyo si Grace. Look at Ma, from the very start, tanggap na niya yung relationship namin. And kayo naman, ngayon napakakasalan ko si Grace, ngayon pa kayo aayaw? Because marriage is a serious business, my dear son. Ikukumit mo ang buong pagkatao at buhay mo sa iisang tao. Kami nga ng mama mo, wala naman kaming disability, pero paminsan-minsan, nahihirapan kami makitungo sa isa't isa. Kayo pa ni Grace? You know what, bulag siya, I don't see it as a hindrance. Ah, that's easy for you to say dahil hindi pa kayo nagsasama. But once you live in the same house, magbabago lahat yon. And you better think about it, Edward. This time, you think very hard. <laughs>